I wish I had more, like, shit to talk about, because, I mean, I don't really ever go out and do anything. I have been in my room for the last, like, week. My dad just moved to Nebraska, which is crazy. Uh, Nebraska being one of those general, uh, in that general group of states that's, uh, northwesty-ish. North, north, northeast-ish, rather. Not northeast. It's like in the center, isn't it? Oh my god, you can put them on this. That's kind of cool. Alright, uh, I need these four grass seeds. Alright, that's fine. Can't really use that right now, but I need this cobblestone to make. God damn it. This, which allows me to make a Tinker's Construct slab furnace. Which is just a cheaper way to make furnaces. And now, um, let's put eight of those in that. Oh, wait. Let's put one, two, three. Oh, sorry, no, only two. Beautiful, these things are really becoming white. <laughs> Whoops, I was trying to bone meal the, uh, sapling with a, with a silkworm. Ooh, god, I I shifted, I shifted, but I, it felt like I was falling for a second. <laughs> yeah, what I was talking about before is I, uh, I haven't left my room. Well, I've left my room, but I haven't left, like, my house in about a week. And my dad, since my dad moved to Nebraska and I had a going away party. So I'm kind of, like, a bit loopy. Also, I've been, you know, on these new trucks, which aren't the greatest. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Oh, uh, that should be done. And just drop this in here. Actually, I might as well do both of them. Yeah, they're actually pretty deadening. Uh, they kind of make me feel like, uh, like my depression is completely gone. And so is my anxiety. So I have actually been going out of the house quite a bit more than I used to. But in the last week, I've, uh, I haven't gone out much. But, it, but it's like, but the sense of pleasure I get from, like, anything is a little bit, it's muted, and it doesn't last very long. So it's kind of hard to get myself to record, or edit, or shower, because it's just not very rewarding, and I'm kind of trying to... Uh, I'm debating with myself about whether I should try another one or or stop taking it or I don't fucking know. Yeah, uh, I, I fucking don't know, but it has been useful uh, in actually interacting because I am agoraphobic like as fuck. I don't like being around people. Well, it's weird, because I actually do like being around people, but I don't like being around people that I don't know, and, like, walking down the street. I don't like being in public, I guess. I like hanging out with people, but I don't like hanging out with people in public. Or, wait, that's not even right. It's, it's like I... If there's a group of people I know, then I'm usually fine-ish. Uh, if there's like tons of people around us that we don't know it kind of really is nerve-wracking and i need some more silkworms delicious worms uh but yeah the antidepressant has been taking that away almost completely so i've gotten out of the house i even asked some chick out randomly um uh she turned me down had a boyfriend but but i did it fucking shit <laughs> I mean, seeing as one of my goals in life is to become a sex god, uh, you know, I kind of have to ask women out. Or men, I guess. I, uh, I, he, you know that fucking, uh, the, the fucking Facebook thing that's like your sexual preference and there's an option for I don't know. And <laughs> I, I thought it was funny. Like, I thought that was really funny. Like, how could you really not... I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it just seems so strange, but I don't know. Like, I have no fucking idea what the fuck I am... I like fucking. 
very strange. Well, it's strange because, uh, for one, I've known for ages that you don't, like, become gay just by, or become, sorry, you aren't born gay. And no matter how much people think you are, you are not born gay. It develops in early, early in childhood, um, but it is not some fucking mental disorder like a lot of crazy Christians think. Some abomination or a choice even. It's not a choice. But I have be been becoming like less and less caring about whether someone is a woman or a man when I look at attraction, which is very odd to me. I mean, not unwelcome in the slightest, just because I'm, I'm kind of like along with that mindset where the more you like, the better, no matter what it is, except for things that cause other people suffering. Yay, bread. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, as well, I, I, I know I told you like in the other series, but I, t I kind of want to reiterate, I'm radically honest, I don't lie at all. <laughs> well, I lie in my videos sometimes for comedic effect, or a lot of the time for comedic effect, but, but, uh, and hopefully that works, Jesus Christ, otherwise it's just a bunch of fucking waste of time. But yes, uh, I am radically honest, so when I would say shit like that, it's usually true. <laughs> uh, saying that I am literally going to kill myself because I made a terrible joke is not true, usually. Unless the joke was really fucking bad. Like, oh my god. The kind of bad that... I don't... I don't know... How would you... It, there's this... There's this fucking creepypasta about a, a coffee machine that, uh... Sorry, very weird segue, but it connects up and you'll see why. Uh, there's a... A, a creepypasta. Or not a creepypasta, an SCP. Sorry. Uh, and SCP, I get those mixed up, because I was exposed to them in the, kind of the same way. Uh, an SCP, which is the search con contain something, protect or something like that. And they're basically objects, um, or sentient beings, or sentient objects, or dimensional rifts in time and space, or whatever. They're basically just interesting things that uh, are controlled by this uh, secret Illuminati organization that keeps them from the general public so they don't destroy humanity or whatever. And one of the SCPs is a coffee machine that gives you, I think it's eight ounces in a paper cup of whatever fluid you ask for, uh, no matter what it is. So, <laughs> uh, I knew I said it was going to connect up. Oh, yes. Um... <laughs> So, so someone asked for uh, the best drink in existence or something like that, or the best drink ever, I don't remember. Um, and they, they drink it, and they like go into shock, and, and then a few days later, they kill themselves. And they leave a note behind that says, uh, well, <laughs> pretty much anything now is one big letdown. <laughs> Which is amazing. It's a fucking amazing story, but, but, uh, <laughs> but what the fuck was it connecting to? I can't remember. Uh, oh yeah, a joke so bad that I killed myself. You know, there's a song. I can't remember what song, but like people have been murdered. Uh, like several people have been murdered due to playing this song too loud, like frequently. <laughs> like a song that drives people literally insane. That is, holy shit, that is something to be proud of if you're the artist of that song or the singer or the whatever you like to call them. Like, my song is so terrible or so repetitive or so whatever that people have literally died because of it. <laughs> that would be... <laughs> I'd say that would be... That should be a goal. That should be a goal. People have literally died. Oh yeah, there's a song that's like banned in several countries because uh, uh, because there have been a lot of people who like it's so sad a song that it has made people kill themselves. Several people killed themselves because of this one song. 
And I know this seems like this urban myth style thing, but people have left notes because, <laughs> because, and saying they killed themselves because of this song. And it's so ridiculous. And it's also a song about suicide, so it makes sense, right? Uh, okay, so how much string? Okay, I have enough string to get these thingies. I need more dirt. Good. And wouldn't that be a strange thing? Like, you heard your song that was about suicide. Uh, someone killed themselves. Like, in the same way. Or, or due to it. It would just be so weird. Like, would you feel guilty or proud or... I, like, someone took your song so seriously that they died. Holy shit. That is fucking weird. Also, recently, for the first time, listened to The Killing of Georgie, which is apparently Carl Pilkington's favorite song. And I'm not even joking, that's the only reason I know about the song. It's a pretty good song. It wasn't amazing, in my opinion, but... I've actually been listening to a lot of Bob Marley recently, and my dad asked me if I was smoking a lot of ganja. <laughs> That's the kind of thing my dad asks me regularly. Regularly. I, I mean, maybe not regularly. He watches this, so I'm like afraid. Oh, hi dad, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid he's gonna like get all angry at me. Uh, but yeah, probably not. He'll just be like thrilled that I mentioned him at all. And then I'm like having a conversation because I don't have, or not a conversation, a uh, a talking thing. A talkingness. What's a one-man conversation called? A monologue? That's not right. Because a monologue's like... I, I don't... What the fuck? What would that be? What would it be called? Me, like, talking to the camera? It's... I guess it would be a monologue. But... I don't know. It just doesn't seem to fit. A monologue seems more like... You're trying to inform someone about something or so something like that. Yeah, The Killing of Georgie is a, a song by someone about about a, a gay kid who, who, like, ends up getting stabbed to death and really fucked up, naturally. Ow, fuck. See, this is what fucking religious intolerance does, alright? It makes sure gay kids get stabbed to death. Actually, I don't think it was a kid. I think it was, like, 30 or something like that. I don't think they gave a specific age. I'm just guesstimating, which is a word that I really hate and never use unless I'm, like, really struggling for words. So why don't you just appreciate my plight right now? The fact that I am making literally no money. I'm starving. I've lost, like, 15 pounds in the last few weeks, so... Yeah. Actually, it's a good thing. I mean, it may have been due to not being able to eat anything, but but I've been wanting to lose weight for a really long time. Like, lose the last of my uh, quote-unquote baby fat. And by baby fat, I mean I was a fat ass when I was a kid. <laughs> like, serious fat ass. Thank you, Grandma! Buying freaking uh, TV dinners all the time. TV dinners, pot pies. Pre-made food, lots and lots of it. And also the schools. And also the fact that I really like that food. <laughs> and then I started to not stand it. Or not be able to stand it. I really hated that food. Now I really can't eat most like like uh, TV dinners and pot pies and shit like that. And they're just too... They just taste like fucking grease now. And it's horrible. 